doll the twits, the frog. To pay her back for the glass eye in his beer, Mr. Twit decided he would put a frog in Mrs. Twit's bed. He caught a big one down by the pond and carried it back secretly in a box. That night, when Mrs. Twit was in the bathroom getting ready for bed, Mr. Twit slipped the frog between her sheets. Then he got into his own bed and waited for for the fun to begin. Mrs. Twit came back and climbed into her bed and put out the light. She lay there in the dark, scratching her tummy. Her tummy was itching. Dirty old hags like her always have itchy tummies. Then all at once she felt something cold and slimy crawling over her feet, she screamed. What's the matter with you, Mr. Twit said. Help, screamed Mrs. Twit, bouncing about. There's something in my bed. I bet it's that silly Grix Rigger I saw on the floor just now, Mr. Twit said. That's what? Screamed Mrs. Twit. I tried to kill it, but it got away, Mr. Twit said. It's got teeth like screwdrivers. Mrs. Twit fainted. Help. Mrs. Twit, save me. It's all over my feet. It'll bite my off your toes, said Mr. Twit. Mr. Twit. Mrs. Twit fainted. Mr. Twit got out of bed and fetched a mug of cold water. He poured the water over Mrs. Twit's head and revived her. The frog crawled up from under the sheets to get in near the water. I started jumping about on the pillow. Frogs love water. This one was having a good time. When Mrs. Twit came to the frog, had jumped onto her face, this is not the nicest thing to happen to anyone in bed at night. She screamed again. By golly, it is a giant girl slither, Mrs. Twit said. It'll bite off your nose. Mrs. Twit leaped out of bed and flew downwards and spent the night on the sofa. The frog went to sleep on her her pillow.